Ladies, gentlemen, boys, and girls, soccer fans of all ages, this is Armand Colombo Field at Marciano Stadium, and tonight we've got a little bit of a different matchup for you. It's the Newton South Lions versus your Brockton Lady Boxers, as always. I'm Mad Dog Matt Nelson, bringing you all the action high above the turf here at Brockton High School. The Boxers coming off a couple of uninspired performances against Bridgewater Raynham and West Bridgewater the latter of which they lost one nothing here at Marciano Stadium. And in talking with head coach Denise Glennon before this game, she was not happy. She was not in attendance at the game. She had a personal commitment. And she was not happy to hear her team played uninspired like they knew that coach wasn't watching. And eventually she did catch the replay on Brockton Community Access and had some harsh words for the team and their first practice back. Newton South, a very good team coming in at 11 and one. And the Boxers are three and eight. Newton South wearing their away orange jerseys with white trim. The Boxers in their home whites, red and black trim. Brockton with opening possession, it's Kayla Murphy and Kyla Colors on the boxer head to kick this one off. Alicia Talkman to Colors. Jalen, uh, Jayla Curran-Stewart not starting this game as she missed a practice. Jayla Smith breaking this Lion opportunity up but the Lions Able to recover, and now it's a semi-break, a shot, and a good diving save by Tori Viola Lothry. Viola Lothry, excellent season so far, has made some truly spectacular saves. And the Newton South goaltender is the freshman, Olivia Dubin. Free kick for the boxers. Taken by Olivia Mathelier. Murphy held up, no whistle. And now Denel Davids going to get it to Colors, who finds Murphy back to Colors. Now Newton Self trying to shield it out of bounds. It will go out of bounds off of Brockton. So a goal kick, or a free kick for the Lions at about the goal line of the football markings. It's gonna be taken by Dubin. Three goalkeepers on the Lions roster. Naomi Liftman a junior, and Maisie Abiati, and another freshman. It's Newton South trying to set up for the long term with some young goaltenders. So Murphy sends this one high and wide to the right. Brockton with only one goalie on the roster. It's Tori Viola Lothry. Last year they had Jennifer Edwards, the senior class president who graduated. Talking with both of these coaches a short time ago and they said the reason that they seemingly have short benches is that especially in Brockton, the priority for the young woman of the family is to take care of any younger siblings they may have, whereas the young men of the family go out and play sports, and I think that's the reasoning behind why the Brockton High boys team is sitting at 10-0-1, and, and the girls are three and seven, the three and eight, rather. Olivia Mathelier 
over to Lena Marion. Sent out by Dubin, so it'll be a throw in for the boxers. Lena Marion, we're being told. I started the season off that way, wasn't really sure. Then I heard Lena a few times, so we switched, and now we're back to Lena. Of course, the youngest child of John Marion. Still scoreless, five minutes into this first half between the Newton South Lions and the Brockton Boxers. We've seen a little bit of uh, increasing matchups between Newton South and Brockton. They knocked us out of the playoffs in men's basketball a few years ago. We played, usually play Newton North, the tires of Newton North. We traveled up there for a football playoff game last year. Not usually from Newton South. Yes, and ahead looking for Kayla Murphy, just a little bit too far, broken up by the Lions. Now it's Vanessa Dos Anjos trying to send it in for Kayla Murphy as it bounced off a Lion defender and now the Lions up turf with purpose. Number 23 tripped up. That is Larissa Williams, the sophomore. Drawing the penalty from a referee that was 45 yards away. Free kick for the Lions. Maya Madison taking that free kick for Newton South. Our talkman up to Colors. Colors can't handle it. And right back the other way are the Lions, and a semi-break is going to be on sides. And a diving stop by Tori Viola Law 3, and she's able to neutralize the Lions' attack. And that save gets the boxer fan section going. a very interesting increase in fan participation here at Marciano Stadium this year. Last game we saw a water bottle used as an instrument as a drumstick of sorts banging on the aluminum stands. Now we're seeing a textbook. Textbook is a drumstick. Yeah, Law three making yet another save. We're gonna have a penalty called against the Lions, so a free kick for the boxers in fairly dangerous territory, about 45 yards out directly on net. Sent wide to the right. No harm, no foul for the Lions. A busy week for Boxer Athletics here at Marciano Stadium. And BCA Sports continues. Of course, we were here yesterday for the Brockton men's victory. 
three to two win against Mansfield, the Hornets, making it very interesting as that game was decided by two penalty kicks, one for each side, and now a shot is going to be saved by Viola Lothry. So Mansfield got a PK to tie that game. I'll text Jan. And then Brockton on the other end was awarded a penalty kick and was able to take the lead off of the boot of Jonathan Rodriguez. And tonight, of course, the Newton South Lions and the Brockton Lady Boxers. We have an off night. A rare off night for BCA Sports tomorrow night. And then Thursday, we're right back here as these same Lady Boxers take on the Trojans of Bridgewater Random High School, a team in which they just got killed eight to nothing. Friday night, the Durfee Hilltoppers come to town to face the boxers in a big three divisional football matchup. And Saturday, because as Bill Belichick says, no days off, we have the Dartmouth Indians making the trip up Route 24 to face the Brockton men's soccer team. And Thursday, we're being told this Brockton has a corner kick. It's going to be taken by Caleb Murphy. Now, Danell David's trying to pounce on it. And a shot and a goal for the boxers. Out of nowhere, it looked like Newton South was going to be able to clear it out. Brockton finding loose trash and pounding it home. Timeout called by Newton South. Think, think Kyla Colors is going to be awarded with that goal. Unassisted. So it's Kyla Colors unassisted to put the boxers up one nothing. So we're now going to have a an interesting situation here. Is the stadium lights have gone out here at Marciano Stadium. It can only get so dark before. It'd be interesting to see if they allow this game to continue much longer without the stadium lights being on. They all, the lights all kind of went out at the same time. It's like a like a circuit blue or something. So at 28-23 to go, the score is one to nothing. They said change the scoreboard to one nothing. So it's one nothing boxers, 28-23, Newton South calling their timeout. The custodians here try to figure out why the stadium lights went out. We got it, we got it, we got it. 
the fan section all holding up their cell phones with their flashlights on, saying, play on. We got this covered. Some discussions as to what to do. I think they're going to play a little bit longer without the lights on as maintenance tries to fix them, figure out what went wrong. So, it's already been a crazy first half. We've got a boxer lead, one to nothing. Goal scored by Kyla Colors, unassisted. Newton South already calling their timeout. Usually something reserved for a couple of goals down. Well, Lothry has made a number of excellent saves already. The other caveat to this whole lights issue is they take a little bit to warm up. They take maybe 15, 20 minutes to, uh, to heat up in a full blast. Of course, the same thing happened at the Super Bowl a few years ago. In New Orleans as Viola Lothry comes charging out of her net to clear this one out of danger. The same thing happened at the Super Bowl. Dare we say it, Colin Kaepernick and the San Francisco 49ers against the Baltimore Ravens and Ray Lewis. Lights went out, everybody cried conspiracy. After about an hour and 15 minutes, the game continued. So we'll see how long we play on here in the first half. Now we've got two water bottles. Two water bottles being used as drumsticks as the fan section led by some of the boys team is alive and well. The sun continues to set. Brockton with the lead now at 25 minutes to go in the first half. It's been a crazy couple of days here. Newton South with an opportunity here. A shot in, an excellent stop by Tori Viola Law 3. And that again brings the fans to their feet. Viola Law 3 has been absolutely dynamite in net all year for the boxers. A few years ago, we saw Brockton go up by a very wide margin. And Tori Viola Law 3 came out of net and started playing forward. Asked Coach Glennon a few games ago, if there's ever a chance of that happening this season, 
Should absolutely not. That was a one-time thing, even though she's a senior and all the seniors want the glory of scoring a goal. No, she's our, she's our rock, she's our savior in net. And she's done an absolute fantastic job with another stop there for Tori Viola Lothery. Offsides against Newton South. As we get progressively darker here at Marciano Stadium. One of the lights to our right, the bank has started to flicker on. So this side of the stadium has started to come on, and finally there goes the opposite side as the lights start the lengthy warm up process. Been an interesting two days here at Marciano Stadium. Two penalty kicks yesterday. Lights go out tonight. Lest we forget it's senior night on Thursday and Friday. Friday for football, Thursday for Lady Boxer Soccer. See the field starting to light up here. Never a dull moment. Never a dull moment. This one cleared, but not out. South will have a throw in. Now a goal kick for the boxers as the maintenance department has shed some light on the situation of this game. Bright minds over there have figured out what went haywire with stadium lights. I'm throwing out my best light puns and I'm getting no reaction from anywhere. Well, all three with another save. So we've now switched to a red ball now that the lights are back on. We can see it. Being told that the issue was caused by a power surge that Killed all the lights on the road as well as the stadium lights, but not the lights in the press box. Those never failed. The new lights in the press box never failed us. Now 
Never a dull moment here at Marciano Stadium. So we're just north of halfway through the first half. One to nothing, boxers. Kyla Cullors with the lone goal unassisted. Newton South trailing Brockton. Murphy launching a shot wide to the left. It'll be a goal kick. Now Viola Walther going to come charging out of her net to send this one back across midfield. Murphy racing ahead for this one, and Newton South gonna send it back to Colors. One touch pass to Hendrigan. Hendrigan trying to create some space, fighting off two Lions. And the Lions ultimately able to clear it back in the area of midfield. Good self with a shot and another stop by Viola Lothry. Around seven or eight of those on the game for the boxer senior goalkeeper. Now leaving it behind was De Silva. Newton South sending it ahead, and Viola Lothar are going to come out and get this one again. And she'll send it back to Serena De Silva, who puts it into the Newton South bench. And it's going to be a penalty kick for the Lions is a takedown in the box. Newton South with going with number 10, Audrey Levy, the junior. So Levy to attempt the PK for the Lions. Viola Lothar, the senior goalkeeper, ready to go. Maybe about 15 yards out from net is the ball. Maybe runs up. And a save by Tori Viola Lothar. Levy sending it directly in. And Viola Lothary not flinching for a moment. And the biggest save of the night for the boxer, senior goalkeeper.
So the interesting week at Marciano continues. Two games, three penalty kicks so far. Vanessa Dos Anjos, the freshman, back into the game for the boxers. 14 minutes left. In an action-packed first half between the Newton South Lions and the Brockton Boxers. It's the fans are almost thunderous. Deafening noise coming from the boxer fan section. It was relocated one section over. A short kick. You know, David's clearing this one out. And now a 35 yard shot is going to go wide to the left. Goal kick for the boxers. David's chasing this one and she's going to let Viola Lothry pick it up. Twelve minutes left, one nothing boxers over the Newton South Lions who have had their fair share of opportunities. A PK has been the best of the night for the Lions. Unable to convert. We'll have the first corner kick of the night for the Lions. This one headed up and out of play. That one sent in by Cassie Lee, the sophomore. And now a shot and a goal for the Lions. This one finding its way to the left of Tori Viola Lothry, and we have a tie ball game. Number two, Lucy Jenks, the sophomore, scoring that goal, assisted by Larissa Williams, another sophomore. Offside's called against the Lions. Well, the Mad Dog research team branches far and wide. We have figured out what caused the power surge at Marciano Stadium. Someone hit a transformer pole on the southeast side of the city on Thatcher Street. Uh, 
and that was two hours ago. That whole area does not have power, about 300 homes without power on the south side. National Grid, while working on the, pro on the problem, accidentally shut off power to the whole city for a few seconds. The entire city of Brockton lost power for about 10 seconds. And that's what caused the surge here of the stadium lights. Can the whole city, the entire city that includes downtown Brockton, losing power for about 10 seconds. Big thanks to our friends over at Bema and Steve Hook for providing us with that information. Tie game, eight minutes left in the first half. One to one, the two goals. One scored by Lucy Jenks, and one scored by Kyla Cullors. And another breakaway for the Lions, a two on zero, in fact, and now a shot! And an excellent save by Viola Lothry as her stellar performance continues. David sending this one over to Lena Marion. Corner kick for the Lions, their second such of the night. This one headed, and it's going to be saved, and still loose, still loose, finally finding its way over the goal line. I want to say Brockton forced that ball to go in. Violet Lothry made three saves off of the initial shot. And then it was loose and no boxer even got close to attempting to clear that one out. And Brockton's gonna call their timeout. A very heated coach Denise Glennon on the sideline as Newton South has taken a two to one lead with 5.55 to go in the first half. And so the wackiness continues. I'm gonna call that an own goal. I wanna say the last person to touch it was the Brockton Boxers defense off of the initial shot from Tori Viola Lothry, which would mean the goal's credited to the lion that took the corner kick. But we don't know. So 5.55 to go in the first half. 2-1 Lions lead, two unanswered goals for the Lady Lions. Brockton using their timeout. It's 
It's going to be credited to number six of the Lions. Maya Madison, the junior midfielder. That was the last Lion to touch it. Kudos to the replay crew downstairs in our production truck. Mike the Postman Simmons, Aaron Tebow, J.D. Winters, DJ Steele. Someone's grilling up some hot dogs and burgers. Lit up the charcoal during the timeout. Now the smell of barbecue has taken over Marciano Stadium. <laughs> Stephanie Alves making her way into the game off the substitution of off of the timeout, excuse me. So Maya Madison, the last lion to touch it, an own goal scored by the boxers, who could not clear it out off the corner kick. And the Lions find themselves out of nowhere with a two to one lead. Closing in on the final moments of the first half. And another one for the Lions here. There's no doubt about this one. Pounded in. And it's Madison again, her second goal of the night. So Maya Madison with two goals in as many minutes here. And we're gonna have a foul called very late after the fact. It's gonna be taken, I think, by Madison Hendrigan. Boxer crowd yelling for a direct shot. This one's going to be sent wide and a diving stop by Olivia Dubin. So the second goal that wonky, what I still think is an own goal, boxers certainly caused it by not clearing it out, it was a corner kick taken by Lily Reisberg. And then in the confusion, Maya Madison sent it into the boxer net. And Madison with the last Two Newton South goals and another corner kick. This one sent too far over the top, out of bounds out the other side, thrown for the boxers. It's almost that time. Everyone knows the rules. Clock stops at two minutes on the scoreboard. Official time kept on the field by the referees. We do have a stopwatch ready to go. And it starts now. Unofficially two minutes left in the first half. Three to one Lions over the Boxers. Brockton once had a one nothing lead. 
And Newton South out of nowhere, led by the junior Maya Madison. Was stormed back to take a three to one lead. Denal David shielding this one and is gonna let it roll out of bounds. It'll be a boxer throw in. It'll be a Newton South throw in. It's a lot of confusion on the field. Long throw right into the box and it's going to be Last touch by the Tiger, uh, by the Lions, excuse me. So it'll be a goal kick for the Boxers with about a minute left in the first half. Throwing for the Tigers. About 35 yards out from net. And a miscommunication. And Tori Vallelothry is going to come out and grab this one. About 10 seconds left in the first half. Refs cannot stop a clear offensive opportunity for either team. Alves can't catch up to this one. Clearing this one out was Jayla Smith. And now sent out of bounds by the Lions. Not much time here left in the first. Three to one Lions over the Boxers. Gonna wait for this one to be put in play and then almost immediately blow the whistle. Hendrigan sending this one. And unable to catch up to it is the Boxers offense. Sent out of bounds off of the Lions. So Alves can't catch up with this one. Another throw in for the Boxers. This one deep in Lion territory. Murphy taking the throw, sending it to Alves. Now Hendrigan in the middle. Can't get a shot off. The whistles blow, the clock has hit zero. The score at the end of the first half, three to one to the Newton South Lions leading the Brockton Boxers. It's been a wild first half. We're gonna step aside and take a short break and bring you the second half right after this. Good morning. Hope you all had a good weekend and are ready to be inspired. One quick thing I want to remind you guys to be studying. Major key alert. Did you just look at your phone while you was in class? You played yourself. Today we're talking about inspirational quotes. You want to get that paper? You better turn in that paper and get an A+. That's a major key. Another one. Another. Mo will talk. You want to reach the mountaintop? You got to go hard. To succeed, you have to believe. Stay focused, fly higher than the eagle. Don't ever play yourself. The key is to make it, so make it. Louise, Louise, can you give me an example of an inspirational quote from recent history? Don't play yourself. The key is to make it. And who said that? I did. Now that's a major key alert. Learn the real major keys to getting to college at getschool.com.
get caught buzz driving, and you could do some hard time. Craig, knock it off. Sorry, Mom. It could cost you around $10,000 in fines, legal fees, and increased insurance rates. And that could set you back a few years. Buzzed, busted, and broke. Because buzz driving is drunk driving. Here's your check. Oh, you, you got it. You know, since I got rid of my car, I really enjoy walking. Okay. Got you. Getting pulled over for buzz driving could cost you around $10,000 in fines, legal fees, and increased insurance rates. Oh, you're home early. You live with your mom? That'll set your game back a few years. Buzzed, busted, and broke. Because buzz driving is drunk driving. Green hat. Red hat. Oops. <laughs> Red shirt, blue shirt, <laughs> yellow shirt, oops. <laughs> yellow pants, red pants, green pants, <gasps> oops. <laughs> Ladies, gentlemen, boys, and girls, soccer fans of all ages, welcome back into Marciano Stadium for second half action between your Brockton Boxers and the Newton South Lions. Once again, I'm Mad Dog Matt Nelson bringing you all the action, and it has been a wacky one here at Marciano for the second straight day. We've seen a penalty kick that was saved by Tori Viola Lothry. The score is 3 to 1. Newton South on top. It was once 1 to nothing Boxers. The Boxers have scored an own goal off of a corner kick for Newton South. Maya Madison credited with the score on that one. She has since added a second one. And so it's 3-1 Lions over the Boxers. Newton South wearing their away orange uniforms. Orange uniforms with white trim. The Boxers white jerseys with red and black trim. Lone goal scorer for the Boxers. Kyla Colors. Colors pounding one home early in the first. It seems like ages ago. We've seen a power outage that almost threatened the stoppage in play in the first half. The entire city lost power for but we were told about 10 seconds. Still no power on the southeast side. Back behind Massasoit on Thatcher Street. Wayne McAllister Way. That area has no power right now. About 320 homes affected. But no idea why the entire city lost power. We were told it might have been an accident on National Grid's part. But we can't be sure. Freshman goalkeeper for the Lions has been strong tonight. It is Olivia Dubin. With only the one mark on her record tonight. Well, Lothry on the other hand, the only goalkeeper listed on Brockton's roster. Number of spectacular saves. But three tallies against the boxers.
temperature starting to drop here. Started out about 74 degrees. It's now trickled down to about 68. No wind. And I don't know this beautiful night for soccer. Contrary to the weather yesterday on Columbus Day here when the boys got the victory against Mansfield in a rainy, wet, wild game. Two, two penalty kicks. It's absolute mayhem here at Marciano yesterday. Again, a busy week for BCA Sports and Boxer Athletics here at Marciano Stadium. Rare night off tomorrow. Thursday night, the Lady Boxers are here for senior night against the Bridgewater Random Trojans. Friday night, it's homecoming football action against the Durfee Hilltoppers. And Saturday, it's the Brockton men against the Dartmouth Indians. Full slate of games. Check them out. Brockton Community Access Channel 98. And while you're at it, while you're watching all this fantastic action, tell us what you think about it on Twitter, at Brockton Channel, all one word, Talk to us, hashtag BCA Sports. We are on Twitter. At Brockton Channel. Live tweeting the football games. So, just north of five minutes into the second half. Still 3-1. Newton South, and now a shot, and another excellent save by Tori Viola Lothry. Now Lena Marion. Fighting with Hendrigan. Hendrigan. Not much room to work with. It'll be a boxer throw in. Just to the left of the lion bench. Hendrigan popping it up into the middle of the field looking for Alicia Talkman. This one sent back for Gila Smith. Smith has seen action all over the field as Kayla Murphy launching a shot is going to be easily picked by Dubin. Gila Smith has had some time at forward this season. A lot of time at midfield, both front and back. And tonight, she is on the defensive line. The penalty called against the Lions. Dubin with another stop. One sent into the boxer bench out off of the boxers. Newton South with possession and unable to keep it in. So boxer throwing now. No penalty 
ruled. And another stop by Tori Viola Lothry. Nine minutes into the second half. Still 3-1. Lions over the boxers. This one passed Viola Lothry, but the defense coming up big. Newton South trying to recover, and this one's going to be sent wide. Lily Reisberg into the game for the t Lions. Keep getting confused between Newton North and South. Of course, the Lions here, the Tigers of Newton North. No Bears, no Bears, no Lions and Tigers and Bears. Now an opportunity for the Lions is sent through the football uprights. Back and forth action here in the second half. Now it's Lena Marion trying to turn on the Jets and create some space. Newton South sending it out of bounds. Now the Lions clearing it out. And it's going to be offsides against the Lions. Now Stephanie Elves has her opportunity broken up. Twenty-seven forty-five left in the first half. Newton South hanging on to that three-one lead. Brockton threatening in the latter stages of this second half. Newton South throwing. Now Murphy. 
Sending this one back towards midfield. And South still pressuring. Now Murphy long over the top looking for Alves. Doesn't connect, but it's out of bounds off of the Lions into their own bench. Colors, the lone goal scorer for the Boxers back to Marion. Now Smith can't catch up with it and it rolls all the way back to Tori Viola Lothry. Now, an excellent diving stop by Viola Law 3. And there is a lion down and another opportunity. A one-time shot and an excellent pick by Viola Law 3. Couple of substitutions for the Tigers. Olivia Shaw into the game, replacing Stephanie Alves up front for Brockton. Danelle Davids coming up with this one. It'll be a Brockton throw in just inside midfield. Marion can control it. Lothry with another send back towards midfield. 23.45 to go. This one sent all the way across. Throwing deep in boxer territory. About three yards away from the goal line. And then Tochman sending this one back out of bounds. Try it again. One more time for the Newton South Lions, throwing about as deep into boxer territory as you can get. Long throw is loose, and it's sent over the goal line. It'll be a corner kick for the Lions. So three throw-ins result in a corner kick. So 
going to be taken by number 11, Willie Reisberg. And it's headed through the uprights. No harm, no foul for the boxers who have to turn up the pressure offensively. Down 3-1. Just about halfway through the second half. A lot of time spent out of bounds in this half for these two teams. So the boxers entering a critical stretch of games. Of course, they've got Bridgewater Raynham, their last home game of the year. On Thursday night. They have yet to play Derby and New Bedford on the road for both of those matchups. And what will determine their playoff fate? You win the division, you're in the playoffs. You don't, you are eliminated. Last year, Brockton starting off 0-4, going on to win the big three, getting into the playoffs in a preliminary game against Plymouth South. Beautiful facilities down in Plymouth, side note. Winning that game, stunning the Plymouth South Cougars and another stop by Fiola Lothry would go on to play, I believe it was Durfee. Gonna get the Mad Dog research team. Lothry holding on to this one. Eighteen minutes left in the second half is our night gets progressively more interesting with the results of the power outage that surged. So it's a power outage on the south side, but it surged the entire city except for the press box. The stadium lights, the street lights, the lights at the Rocky statue all went out. It seems like the only two buildings that didn't lose power in the entire city, or the only two structures, I should say, are this press box and the locker room building underneath us because the truck is plugged into the locker room building. Our production truck also did not lose power.
Newton South with another opportunity. A shot is going to be saved by by Lothry yet again. Regardless of the outcome, Viola Lothry's getting the game ball. It's going to be an offsides against the Lions. Now we're being told, in addition to the entire city of Brockton surging, all of Whitman and about half of Abington losing power as well. I mean, Whitman makes sense. They're a lot closer to Massasoit where this thing allegedly kicked off than we are here at Brockton High. That being said, it's a different grid as Viola Lothry makes another diving stop. There's the Brockton grid and then the east, parts of the northeast side of Brockton are on the Avon grid. Abington's got its own. I believe Whitman and Hanson are one. It's a lot of craziness going on. It is worth noting. It is worth noting. Friday the 13th is this week. The Mad Dog fun fact of the day. Believe this if you will. The Mad Dog fun fact. Tell your kids, tell your neighbors, everybody. 2017 is the first year in the last 666 years that Halloween falls on Friday the 13th. <laughs> tell everyone you know. Mad Dog research team spread far and wide across every continent, every region, getting you all the all the fun facts. We have a Newton South Lion slow to get up, limping on her right foot. Mad Dog Research Team. Finding out about the power outage. Yet another ball s sent out of play. 12 minutes to go. In the second half, 3-1 Lions as the temperature continues to drop. Now down about 9 degrees from kickoff.
whole FEMA said the whole city tripped for a few seconds. So what happened? There was a circuit breaker. There were six circuit breakers that they have at the school. You must have saw them. Six circuit breakers that they have at the school. And one of them tripped. It's like a house circuit breaker, but it's just huge. And there was a lot of fumes coming out. So we're, we're being told the cause of this power outage... Imagine like a circuit breaker for your house on steroids. Not just on steroids. Like not just on a regular amount of steroids. Like we're talking Alex Rodriguez levels of steroids. We're not going to mention any Red Sox with steroids. We're talking A-Rod levels of steroids powering parts of Whitman, parts of Abington. It's located on Summer Street at one of the transfer stations. That circuit breaker tripped. We had a, a surge here, or at least the stadium lights did. Press box didn't lose power. Locker rooms didn't lose power. Our production truck didn't lose power. Street lights also lost power. National Grid is out patrolling, trying to figure out what caused that to trip. Bema has told us that the whole city surged for about 10 seconds. Of course, the Brockton Emergency Management Agency, Steve Hook, does a lot of great work in the city. Today, an interesting news. I did not know this until I was on my way to work today. And I, I passed the state police headquarters. They had like 15 cruisers on tow trucks, 15 state police cruisers on tow trucks. That they are shipping to Puerto Rico to assist with recovery efforts there. They've got two brigades of state police officers and National Guardsmen and all that that flew down to Puerto Rico last week to assist with hurricane recovery. Now state police cruisers on their way as well. I had to look it up, too. I, I passed it. I was, why are all these brand new cruisers on tow trucks leaving the state police barracks? You would think, you know, a new new cruiser comes in. You bring it to the state police on a, on a tow truck. Loading a bunch of them up, shipping them out. They're going to meet their ferry in Boston Harbor. And off they go. The Mad Dog Research Team. Spread far and wide across all regions of the United States, all countries around the world. Patrolling the Massachusetts State Police Facebook feed where there was a press release about these cruisers going down to Puerto Rico. I want to take this semi-break in the action to thank the cast and crew for tonight's festivities. We had split duty at the helm. Our captain and our first mate splitting the duties. It was Aaron Tebow for the first half and Mike the Postman Simmons. Yet another delivery to the city of Brockton. The viewers of Brockton, at least those that still have power, directing at the helm, steering the ship. You never know how long you might be without power. Hurricane Irene hit just a few years ago. 
The Mad Dog was without power for four days. On graphics, Mike's stepson, significant other son, JD Winters on graphics. Up on camera, we have Danny Steele, senior and junior, kind of hanging out, making his way around to every position. DJ Steele. Now a shot is going to be off the post and cleared out. Well, the law three didn't see that one until the absolute last minute. By the time she started breaking in the direction, it had already gone off the post and back out again. About five minutes to go. In the second half. Yet another one sent out of play. Under senior night here for the Lady Boxers on Thursday night against the Bridgewater Random Trojans. Friday night it's Brockton High football against Durfee. And a game that will determine, at least in part, the Boxers' playoff aspirations. If they lose against Durfee in their first big three-divisional matchup, you could pretty much count them out. If they win, it all comes down to the following week when we travel down to New Bedford. Brockton wins there. They gain the big three automatic bid into the playoffs. If not, they will have three meaningless, absolutely meaningless games in the MIAA Losers Bracket, and then Thanksgiving at Bridgewater Random High School. We'll be there bright and early. 7 a.m. crew call for that one. Feel free to bring us coffee. And donuts. Saturday, right here at Marciano Stadium, it's the Brockton High Boys soccer team against the Dartmouth Indians, a highly con uh, highly anticipated matchup. Dartmouth usually one of those teams that isn't supposed to be really good, but they always give the boxers a fight. Next week, New Bedford next week, the talk of the state soccer landscape. The Brockton High boys against the New Bedford Whalers, two of the best teams in the state going at it. Right here at Marciano Stadium. Brockton wins, they win the big three. Already clinching a playoff berth as they've won at least half of their games. 10-0-1, the boys record. The girls have to win their remaining matchups against Durfee and New Bedford, both on the road if they wish to participate in the MIAA South Sectional Playoff. Keep up with it on the BCA Twitter page, at Brockton Channel. You want to talk to us about anything Brockton High Athletics? Hashtag BCA Sports.
Under two minutes to go. Completely whiffed on the stopwatch. Free kick for the Lions. Official time kept on the field. <laughs> Swing and a miss. Just call us the Red Sox offense against Houston. Swing and a miss. There's about a minute and 30 seconds left on the scoreboard when we realized we were after two minutes. Maybe about 45 seconds to go. Three to one, the Lions on top of the Boxers. This one picked up by Dubin, who has had a good night in net. And the whistles blow, the clock hits zero. The final score, three to one. Newton South getting the better of the Brockton Boxers. The three goal scorers, or the three goals scored, two by Maya Madison. And one, I believe, by Ida Malvik. The lone Brockton goal scored by Kyla Cullors. And Brockton is not on the momentum swing they wanted headed into senior night here on Thursday against Bridgewater Raynham. Three consecutive losses. West Bridgewater, Bridgewater Raynham, and now Newton South. The final score, three to one. The Newton South Lions get the win against the Brockton Boxers. For everyone here at BCA Sports, I'm Mad Dog Matt Nelson, and we will see you next game.